All right, so why am I on my hands and knees? No, not because of that. It's because of <laughs> do a drill. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta give me the heads up on that one. <laughs> All right. Between the shoulder blades, tough area to get into. A lot of times, you get a lot of stiffness there. Obviously, seated positions, postural behaviors, blah 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 blah. You've heard it before. That stiffness there is hard to get into the foam roller. Um, sometimes you can get into it with a prayer position and some other types of movements that you can do to get to that spot. But this is one that I really, really like because it's not just forcing into it, you're controlling the range of motion through its end ranges of flexion and flattening out into extension. And it uses a baby position, which is a very natural position because it's developmental. Um, so we can regain some of our thoracic spine, that mid-back extension and flexion by using this progression. So uh, think of this as like a cat-cow, but like a developmental baby version. And it's um, specifically to get um, active range of motion in that mid-back. So what we'll do is get into child's pose or first position. The butt is going to go into the heels and you're going to rest the forearms down and then rest the head down. Right. We're gonna, we're gonna, basically, I'll show you what it looks like ahead of time, and I'll show you the details. Because there are some details here it can be a little bit tough. So what we're essentially doing is going to be rounding the chest up and then dropping the heart down and tucking the chin and lifting the head. And I apologize, my microphone's here if it gets a little loud when I go down. So we're essentially doing this and this and then this again. But when we execute it well, we can really drive extension through the mid-back. All right? So um, let's get it started. So sit the butt back and we'll rock forward just a little bit. Elbows in line with your ears, create a diamond with your hand in front of you. Once you have this set, you wanna imagine you're pushing your elbows outward, but you don't wanna push them necessarily down or squeeze them in. You wanna think elongating the elbows from the shoulder. Great, once you have that, think about pulling your shoulder blades down toward your back pocket. Mitch, am I showing this? So in my shoulder blades up here, Good. We don't want to be up here. You want to think about pulling those down so there's some space between your shoulders and your ears here. Once you have that, elbows out. Great. And then I'm going to tuck my chin in and then think about dropping my heart out of my chest. When I have this position, it's really strenuous between the shoulder blades there. That's when you know you get it because you can really feel that tension tightness between the shoulder blades. That's what we want to finish with. Okay. If you like this video, please click subscribe thumbs up, follow on Instagram, and for more of this stuff, go to reachcower.com. Reach! So now what we'll do is we'll drop the head down and think about camel humping that same spot toward the air, rounding your butt and your back. Take a deep breath. Breathe out. And then round a little bit more. And then slowly go to the opposite position. I'm going to sit my butt back while simultaneously lifting my head, tucking my chin, pulling my shoulder blades down to my back pocket, elongating the elbows, really pulling the chin in, dropping my heart out of my chest, holding where I feel that tightness in my mid back, take a deep breath in my belly. Good, and then again, drop the head down, round the spine, camel hump it toward the ceiling, rock the butt forward, Really round it, breathe in, breathe out, crunch the abs down, and then flip it in, reverse it to butt back, chin in, elbows long, pull the shoulder blades down toward the back pockets, chin tuck, spine long, pull the shoulder blades down, and get that feeling again.